Hey guys, Gaigan here. It has sure been a while. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Yeah, I'm looking a little bad, I know. In fact, I'll let me fix it one second. Well, I tried. Didn't work. Anyway. <clears throat> Today, we are going to be reviewing one of my favorite sci-fi films of all time. The, the War of the Worlds from 1953. This is one of my favorite sci-fi films of all time. The special effects are so good they could compete with they could compete with Star Wars. The special effects in this movie are decades ahead of their time. What's not to like about this movie? Gene Barry and Anne Robinson are great. The Martian ships look incredible. And the attack scenes are pretty spooky and, and quite frightening. As you may have guessed, this is an adaptation of the H.G. Wells novel from 1898. This was the first of many, well not many, but you know, after this <clears throat> in fact, Cecil B. DeMille was originally going to make a silent version of this movie back in the 1920s. That would have been very interesting to watch. I highly recommend this movie. It won the 1953 Oscar for Best Special Effects. There is another VHS release of this movie, but it has the Martian ships superimposed over modern day LA with glass skyscrapers and such. <clears throat> In fact, this movie was the subject of not one, not two, but three remakes. In fact, all three remakes came out in June of 2005. The first one, June 14th, <clears throat> was made by Pendragon Pictures. It had a budget of $5,000 and is a word-for-word -word adaptation of the novel. It's three hours long and has some of the worst CGI I have ever seen. However, it is the only War of the Worlds adaptation to feature all the invading ships and not just the tripods. Yeah, the book has more than one invading Martian machine, war machine. It is also the only adaptation to feature the Thunderchild battleship. Well, well, it's not a battleship. It's something else, but the name escapes me at the moment. Then, on June 28th, or, yeah, June 28th, there was a million dollar version 
from from everyone's favorite Mockbuster Studio Cashin Studio, the Asylum. It's typical Asylum Cashin ripoff fair. Then on June 29th, there's the big budget Spielberg version with Tom Cruise. That one's also good in its own way, and it actually has a cameo from the from Gene Barry and Ann Robinson from the original. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Um. Anyways, as for the original, I highly recommend it. Give it a watch. Thank you for watching, and I'll hopefully see you all again soon. Bye-bye. Stop recording, damn you! Son of a... Camera off!